Patrick, his best friend, says he can't believe what happened. Meanwhile, authorities have released few details about the accident. Those that knew Nick Kokoliak are trying to grasp the fact that he's gone. His best friend, Sean Kelly, gave these pictures to 12 News, saying Nick, quote, loved his toys, jet skis, boat, cars, smartest guy I have ever met. Around 10.45 Monday night, 911 calls started coming in. Reports of a boat speeding, then crashing, and the sound of screams a few hundred yards offshore. We ended up finding that the boat had struck the inside of the break wall and capsized in the process. Um, initial reports were unclear as to how many people were on the boat and, in fact, where they were. Two women were found holding on to the overturned boat when crews arrived. Dive teams entered the water. We have stirred up sediment from the wave action, further reducing the visibility. We have current anchor lines, picnic tables, uh, garbage cans, uh, fishing line, all of those entanglement hazards that our divers are dealing with as well, including the wreckage from the boat itself. During their second dive, 80 minutes after the first calls came in, Kokoliak and the other victim were removed from the water. And police won't say if alcohol was a factor. Autopsies are scheduled for both men. The two women that were on board the boat suffered non-life-threatening injuries. In the newsroom, Ben Hutchison, WISN 12 News.